In the previous video, I showed you how to add functionality by pulling functionality from another repository into your application. And so we can see that here, kev test two, three, four, five. Um, we'll move the six. There we go. And so you can see here we've got the done it uh, functionality happening here. And we can go Bob's timetable today. And we'll see that that functionality is currently working. Cool. So let's first start off. Um, uh, let's remove that functionality. So if we go in here and we go repo, right well now I'll show you it in the list. Um, repo palm remove is this one here so let's grab that and have a look at the help for that and so what we need to do here is we need to specify these three things so let's go and do that so let's bring back the list just to sort of help us with that so if we go here we want to say um, the repo name well that's kev test two three four five that's easy two three four five fine um, I've remissed some of that. Okay, that's fine. Profile name. The profile name is kevtest2345. kevtest2345. Fine. And then the parameter name. Well, we're wanting to remove done it, but we've, uh, we need to go through packages first. So we go packages. But we don't want to remove all the packages, we just want to remove done it. So then we just stick in a comma here and we go done it. And when I recorded this the first time, I did that as a lowercase. I couldn't work out why on earth isn't it working. And it was because um, I wasn't matching with the uppercase I that's just here. Okay, so if that is not sufficiently clear for you, um, there, here is a comment about uh, how you use that comma. In any case, bork. And now if we go and do a list again, and you're going to see that this is, uh, this is now gone. So that's good. So let's go back over the application, and you'll see it still works. But that's not what we want. We want that functionality gone. So then your next impulse is, okay, we go manage actual, and then we go repo reinstall, and then we go kev test two, three, four, five. And it's gonna do its bits. There we go, and you notice that done it isn't listed there. And so you go, okay, well, does that mean it's gone here? And the answer is no. And the reason why it's not gone is because of the functionality I'm going to show you in the next video where you can add functionality between different repositories. The way that works at the moment is that we don't go and remove any foreign um, packages when we go and do this installation process. Uh, I will probably improve this in some way in the future but at the moment uh, that gives us this little proviso. So. The reason why this has not been a problem so far is because if a package is missing, so um, a, a particular repository, we no longer use this package anymore, but then this profile is referen referencing that package, then during the install process it will detect that's missing. If it's just been renamed, it will go, okay, fine, well, if it, if it matches whatever regex we've got, then cool, we just go and reinstall it. Um, if it's no longer there at all, uh, we simply go and remove it. Uh, and then that keeps things nice and clean. So this hasn't been a problem so far. If you're pulling stuff in from other repositories and those repositories still exist, then that is not going to get removed. Therefore, what we need to do is go manage actual. Uh, and so this is something that will happen, this is something that you will do when managing your dev environment, it is not something, if it gets as far as the user, then there's probably a problem in, um, in what you're trying to do. Uh, but feel free to discuss it with me if you come up with a use case which uh, doesn't fit, then let me know. But in any case, we need to go and do package disable. So let's do that. Okay, so to do package disable, we need to specify the repo name is where the package is coming from, not where it is going to. So it's coming from 
done it. Um, so let's just quickly revise that if that's not making sense. List. Okay, and actually we don't have it listed there anymore. But um, that was that was showing up as the source repo there was done it, and so that's where we're getting that from. Um, the package regex, and in here we can say that it is everything, so dot star. And then the profile, this is where we put in kev test. Kev test two, three, four, five. Okay, now if we go over to here, we'll see that the functionality is now gone. Like so. So here I have shown you how to remove a particular value in there. Um, I have shown you how to go and remove a package from um, a foreign repository. Um, this works just as well for uh, from the same repository. This is functionality which you, you won't use very often now um, because the install process should take care of it for you most of the time um, and the repo palms should take care of um, all the rest of the stuff that you need to do most of the time. So it's actually very rare that you'll need most of this functionality here and it's not ready to be gone yet, but at some point it'll probably be removed. Any questions? Leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, that's all. <laughs>